All right, so I got some big news for, I guess, Joe Biden and for Democrats and really for anybody in the country who wants to get rid of Donald Trump. Joe Biden is destroying Donald Trump in polling right now. And let me just start with this tweet here. Uh, this is sort of the precursor as this was on June 3rd and things have only gotten better for Joe Biden since then. So Dave Weigel tweets out here, Real Clear Politics poll lead uh, leads on this day in history. So in 2020, right now, uh, as at least as of June 3rd, Biden leading Trump by eight points. In 2016, Clinton was leading Trump by 1.5 points. In 2012, Obama was leading uh, Mitt Romney by 1.3, and in 2008, Obama leading McCain by 1.4. So you can see here, um, as Dave Weigel points out, I think people generally remember the Obama wins as much easier and more predictable than they were. And I think he's right about that. Uh, if you compare <laughs> those Obama uh, victories back then, or at least just based on the leads uh, during this time, I mean, it is clear here uh, that if Biden's able to continue this, that he will just dominate Donald Trump. And largely, I think it's not because Biden is a good candidate. He's not. <laughs> but at this point, people just want something something else. They want Trump out. And I think, really, if you put up any Democratic candidate, they would see these huge leads right now. And potentially, with certain candidates, uh, like with Bernie Sanders, for example, I think his lead would be even larger because of the uh, his ability to reach people under 45 and get them involved. Um, but regardless... Uh, Biden's lead right now is fantastic, but let's go deeper into some of these polls. So, National Morning Consult poll, this is from June 1st, Biden leading Trump 51 to 39, and Biden being up 5 points since the previous poll, Trump down 1 point. Uh, let's check another one here. This is June 5th, a Texas poll, Biden 48, Trump 48, and I believe there's another poll that actually shows Biden ahead by 1 point. So here you have the potential to turn Texas blue. I'm telling you, if if Joe Biden is is able to reach um, the population that, that Bernie Sanders was able to reach in terms of Latinos, uh, then Biden should be able to win here. But of course, that's going to be an issue, uh, at least according to polling in the primary. We'll see how, uh, how many of those voters come out in the general. But um, Texas can definitely turn here. Let's go to um, MSNBC. Joe Biden leads President Trump 49 to 42 in latest, uh, sorry, national matchup, according to latest NBC News Wall Street Journal poll. So here, another big lead for Joe Biden. This was from uh, June 7th. CNN poll, which I'm going to get to another update to this, but here's one. Uh, Trump, or Biden leading by 10 points, 51 to 41. That was June 7th. Ohio Fox News poll. Biden, 45. Trump, 43. So, again, it's not just national polls. It's also these state polls in these battleground states that Biden's also leading. So, one of the big states that I don't think I have here, but Wisconsin is a state that has, for the most part, this entire, you know, these past four years have stayed with Trump. But recently, recent polling is showing um, Biden either leading or being really close and Biden able to, to, to potentially overtake Trump in, in Wisconsin as well. But Ohio, of course, very important state here. Biden leading. Shane Goldmark here tweets out, Independent voters who often decide Michigan elections are backing Biden over Trump 63 to 23. That is massive. So you, you see here, if this is able to continue... And a lot of it really is just because Trump is such a disaster. Um, I'm going to get to some commentary from a tweet here in a second. But basically, his mishandling, whether it comes, you know, whether it's about these protests or whether it's about um, the coronavirus, obviously, his mishandling of, uh, of all of these, you know, big events is showing. And people are, you know, if they weren't awake before, I think they're waking up to the fact that they need to get rid of Donald Trump. Now, I feel like in any other election, if it wasn't Trump, if it was like Marco Rubio, first of all, I don't think Joe Biden would have become the nominee 
because the whole the whole reason Joe Biden was able to become the nominee this time is because Trump essentially lowered the standards of what people expect, lowered the bar. So by Trump making things so disastrous, Biden seemed like, you know, a massive shift because really it's just a return to what it was before Donald Trump. But if it was, say, you know, Marco Rubio or somebody else, and Biden did happen to become the nominee, I don't think Biden would be, ha he wouldn't be seeing these numbers. But you're seeing these numbers because Trump is such a disaster. So usually for Democrats to win in, a, in a, uh, an election, they have to actually excite people out to vote. I don't think that's what's happening this time. This is a rare case where the Republican is so clearly, I guess, out of bounds, or so clearly different. Um, at, at the very least, in terms of his presentation, I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, George Bush is worse because of the Iraq war or whatever. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. But in terms of the, at least in terms of the, the presentation of it and his impact, Trump's impact on the actual culture of society, it, it, the, uh, on American culture in general, that is so different than what people have been used to before, at least in the past, you know, 40 years. So you're seeing here this desire to return to normal. And that's what Joe Biden represents for people. Another one here. Um, this is the update to the CNN poll I was talking about. So this is a, whew, <laughs> check this one out. Donald Trump approval rating drops seven points to 38% in new CNN national poll. And Joe Biden opens a 14 point lead on Donald Trump, 55 to 41. So not only is Biden dominating, but it continues to go in his direction. <clears throat> so this is referencing the that poll I just showed you. So 38% approval rating for Trump's handling of the presidency, 57% disapprove, 65% say Trump's response to protests has been harmful, 60% say sending in troops is unjustified. So here, this these are the big, <coughs> excuse me, these are the big events, Trump's mishandling of these events, that is really leading to this desire for, uh, I was going to say change, but desire to to normalcy, to go back to where it was. So, look, I'm not arguing that Biden's a good candidate. He's not. <laughs> but in any other race, it'd be clear Biden is a horrible candidate. And I think it's clear now. But Biden is benefiting from the fact that Trump is so terrible. And this really is, I mean, this is going to have to continue, right? We assume Trump's really not going to turn it around all that much in the next six months. I mean, I, I just, I don't know what he could possibly do to turn all of this around. This pandemic's going to continue. It's not going to disappear in six months. It's still going to be around. Maybe it'll get better, but it's still going to be around. The effects of it will definitely still be around. And we're seeing already how he's dealing with these protests. Do you really see Trump coming out and calling to, you know, defund the police? Like, <laughs> I don't see that happening. So... I just don't, I don't think there's anything Trump can really do at this point. Um, and basically, Biden has to just stay out of the public, <laughs> to stay out of the public guy. Don't go on camera. I mean, do as, really, do as little as possible. Because he is, he isn't a good candidate. And whenever he speaks up, usually it's it's not good. I know, he, had a, he had a speech recently, which I guess was, it's the kind of thing where, because the bar is so low, people are just happy to, to or are just impressed if Biden's able to get through his speech <laughs> without saying anything, you know, completely outlandish the way that Trump might. So Biden gave a speech recently, which I, I guess was standard fare. But because it was just standard, it seemed impressive compared to Donald Trump. And I guess if Biden just does that and it, for the most part stays out <laughs> of the public eye, I think he'll do all right. Um, obviously... We're going to have to see how all of this continues. But right now, it's simply, uh, it's not looking good for Donald Trump.